Today, I am traveling to the richest city in the world, and it might surprise you where it is. The city is full of luxurious, over-the-top buildings, expensive man-made islands, Michelin-starred food, and more. More than 5,000 billionaires live here, and the average net worth of each citizen is $17 million. I just arrived at the airport, and for the next five days, I'm going to live like a billionaire and see what life is like. Starting with this business class airport lounge. This video today is brought to you by Aerolo. Well, unfortunately, Turkish has gone cheap on their lounge selection here in Chicago. The lounge that their business class ticket gets access to is called the Swiss Port Lounge, and it is older. Let's say that. Just look at this chair I'm sitting in right now. And I don't say this to complain, just to show what it's actually like. They're actually serving top ramen over there as one of their meal choices. But I'm very happy, and I'm very excited for this flight. And I got oatmeal. I'm good. How's it going? That's how we eat. Thank you so much. A lot of people think that Monaco is the richest city, country in the world. But wait until you see this place. It makes Monaco look like a children's playground. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Oh, man, that was a long flight, but I have made it. And look at this place. Even the airport is incredibly nice and probably very expensive. Fun fact, this is actually the airport that the new Mission Impossible movie was filmed in. And everything feels so futuristic. Like, there are no immigration officers. You just scan your passport, and then a door opens up for you. All in all, absolutely beautiful airport. How are you today? I'm excited to be here. This city is nice. Oh my gosh. This hotel is insane. Wait until you see this. The billion dollar experience starts right now. I booked this hotel room specifically because this is the only hotel in the world that is on top of a Formula One racetrack. This is what people pay the big bucks for. This suite right now in off season costs over $1,000 a night, mainly because billionaires will pull their yachts into this private marina right here, come check into the hotel, sit out on their private balcony, and watch Formula One, right from their room. This is like a billionaire's playground right here. I forgot that I haven't even said where I am yet. If you can't tell by now, welcome to Abu Dhabi. I could get used to this life, not gonna lie. This hotel is so nice, I swear. I've never, oh my gosh. I've never seen a chair like this before in a hotel room. Let's do a proper bed test. Yeah, that's nice. The crazy part is that this is just the start. I have some very unique, luxurious, adventurous stuff planned for this week, and I can't wait to get started. First things first, I'm gonna activate my eSIM from Aerolo so that I can stay connected during my entire trip here. Boom, done, I have service. Wasn't planning on filming my workout today, but this gym might have the best view of anywhere in the world. Right out these windows, you have all the yachts in the harbor, and then over on this side, you have the grandstands and the finish line of the F1 track. Where am I? I don't know why I'm jump roping. I just saw one over there. Decided to do it. Of course, there is this beautiful rooftop infinity pool at the hotel, and check this out. There are now cars racing on the racetrack that we're looking out over while we swim. And Ferrari World is inside of a mall that is like the nicest mall I've ever been in. What did I just walk into? This place is crazy. So it did cost $100 to get in here, but first impressions are pretty good. Like, this place is empty. Whenever you go to Disneyland or Universal Studios, there are people everywhere. There's like five people inside this park right now. Before I ride the world's fastest roller coaster, I'm gonna work up to it by riding a couple others. I actually don't know where to go because there's nobody else in line.
coasters here on another level. I'm so busy, I can't walk. One more warm-up ride before the world's fastest. They don't let you film on the roller coaster, but that was one of the most fun rides I've ever been on in my life. Oh my gosh, what is this? Hello. <laughs> the time has come to ride Formula Rosa, the fastest roller coaster in the world, 149 miles per hour. Let's do this. It's closed. Wonder if somebody died on it. That's unfortunate. Normally there's really loud music playing here in the theme park, but a call to prayer has taken over. This is really cool. Of course, you can't come to Ferrari World and not drive a Ferrari. This is actually my first time in a Ferrari. I like it. I'm just taking a photo. Yeah, yeah. I'm so curious what these pictures are gonna look like to pay $40 for this. This next place I'm at is basically a country club on steroids. Yes, there's a golf course, but there's also a horse racing track, a shooting range, and what I'm about to do here. I've now been wakeboarding in Japan, Finland, and here, and I think this is the most fun I've ever had. Even though I'm not that great, it's just a blast. Okay! Just pretend like that was me. I'm going to do something today that I didn't even know was possible to do in this part of the world. We just drove two hours into the middle of the desert for this and I'm actually very excited. So right after I entered into the zoo, it started downpouring rain, like to the point of flooding. My microphone got drenched and it killed all my audio, so here's a quick recap of what we did. At first glance, this looks like a normal zoo, but what we are about to do is far from normal in the Middle East. We're going on safari. In the heart of the Al Ain Desert in Abu Dhabi, 53 acres of land have been cultivated and groomed to become the perfect sanctuary for safari animals. All of these animals are imported from Africa, and it honestly feels just like a real safari. We saw wildebeests, antelope, this ostrich who was like, hey, what you looking at? And zebras. Zebras will continue to be my favorite safari animal. They don't feel like they should be real. I just did a safari two weeks ago in Tanzania, and this had such a similar feeling to those game drives. This is crazy to be doing this here. It's lunch time for the giraffes and they are hungry. For some reason, they're letting me feed them. And while I feed this friendly giraffe, I'm gonna tell you about Aerolo. When I travel, it's important for me to stay in touch with my friends and family at home. I also work remotely and I need to stay connected and be able to work from anywhere. I just started using Aerolo's eSIMs for affordable phone coverage in more than 200 countries and regions. It allows me to text, call, and use my phone just like normal anywhere I go in the world. The eSIM uses local cell towers to provide the fastest service available. Aerolo's eSIMs are super easy to install directly on your phone and you don't need to insert a physical SIM card like in the old days. And the best part is that you get to keep your same phone number. I'm going to FaceTime my wife and son right now and share this experience with them. Hey! Hi! Look at this! It's a giraffe! I'm feeding a giraffe! Yeah, buddy! I'm in the middle of the desert and I have phone service to call you. I'm <laughs> Aerolo's eSIM plans are already very affordable, but I have even more of a discount to offer for your next trip. You can download Aerolo with this QR code on the screen and use this code for $3 off your next eSIM purchase from Aerolo. When there's not a Formula One race going on, you can actually rent a sports car and drive around the F1 track. I can't wait. I'm going to go so fast. <laughs> Well, I can never be a racer. I'm exhausted after 10 minutes of that. 
know I've been doing a lot of adventurous things, so now it is time for some luxury. Right behind me, actually right in front of me, are the Etihad Towers, which are some of the nicest buildings in all of Abu Dhabi. And I'm told the locals like to go all the way to the top of the building to get an amazing view of the city and have afternoon tea. Wow, that is a lot of food. Okay. I feel like a billionaire just sitting there. This is also way too fancy for me and I don't know where to start. This is called Observation Deck 300 because it is 300 meters up in the air and it is the highest point in Abu Dhabi. This afternoon tea right here costs $90 and comes with ricotta and blueberry sandwich, smoked salmon, a gherkin sandwich, eton mess, whatever that means, Nutella shul on macaron, cheese crepes cake. This is, uh, this is a lot for me. I'm gonna try something out here. This is turkey ham sandwich. Okay. The food is good, don't get me wrong. I think you come here more for the views though. Right behind me is the presidential palace, as well as a beautiful hotel, beach. Doesn't get much better than this. One thing I love about this city is that they're not content with just building cool stuff. It has to be the biggest, the fastest, the best. Right behind me is the world's largest indoor theme park. Let's go check it out. Okay, not gonna lie, it's actually kind of creepy though. I'm in Gotham City right now. There's no one else here. I kind of feel like Batman is just gonna jump out at any moment. Outside. Nice, okay. All right, I just got put on an elevator. In this building, you're all tech experts. There's not even any work in here. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Batman? Oh, hi. Okay, this place was actually a ton of fun. I just don't want to bore you with too many theme park rides, but I had an amazing time riding Wiley the Coyote, Scooby-Doo, Flintstones, and many more. Yeah! <laughs> Woo, that's crazy. Back in the day, your wealth in Dubai and Abu Dhabi was measured by the number of camels you had. Now, it's measured by the number of cars you have, specifically the number of Land Rovers. It's even rumored that the royal family of Abu Dhabi and Dubai will send gifts in the form of Land Rovers. Like, they'll just send someone 70 Land Rovers for their wedding present. Now, we're gonna go dune bashing. While we were driving out to the sand dunes, I was able to take some work calls and answer emails. Thanks again to Arolo. I'm shocked that I'm getting service all the way out here. All right, let's do some dune bashing. We just turned on some suspenseful music, I like it. In my mouth. Holy Land Rovers! Where did all these people come from? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, buddy! This whole jeeping thing is just a giant tourist trap. Look at all these jeeps that just pulled up right here. All these people, just to see one camel. A <laughs> hundred people here. This probably isn't right or good for the animal. Dune bashing is completed. I've just hiked up to the top of this dune and I'm gonna try some sandboarding. This is pretty steep. Yeah! Ah, I think I cracked my neck. Look at all this sand in my pocket. Oh my god. I can't feel my neck. Is there a doctor here? <laughs> After my neck breaking fall, we enjoyed a sunset in the desert before watching this whirling dervish show. We had a nice barbecue dinner and even a fire show that was actually super impressive. This dude drank lighter fluid, but it was a perfect way to end the night and end the trip. Back at the airport, that is a wrap on Abu Dhabi. I've absolutely loved this city. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.